Okay, so the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection has finally had the update. As you can see in my downloads here, three days ago, we have the updates file for the PlayStation 5. This has also gone live for the Xbox and Switch, so we can go through and just have a look today at some of the changes. Hopefully they've made them better because I'm really hoping they have because I'd actually really enjoy playing this game. I just want to play online. That's all I want to do. So, first of all, I'm going to just check to see what the online player levels are. Have they increased? Are there more players now playing it? Let's have a look. And, oh my god. Seriously? There's no way there's nine players on this game. There's two- what? A like, quick match, I guess? I mean, that was Yavin 4, wasn't it? So if it goes straight to Yavin- yeah, it does. Well, that's one of them. They've at least fixed this noise because the other one was just weird. At least they've fixed it. I mean, I'll take that. But we'll go in. I mean, they've already given me all of these classes and stuff. So I'm assuming everything's just going to be hopefully better. I mean, I don't know. That is so loud, though. What am I doing? Those guys there. Well, I mean, this does feel slightly better, but it's very difficult to tell because... Oh, okay. There's no actual real people in here. Uh, how many? Are there any players in this? Yeah, there are. I mean, there's 10 of us now. I mean, I could try and find at least a couple of people, but I don't know where the hell they're going to be. Damn, he just is hogging that, isn't he? That's basically going to be the sense of this. You know, I'm going to quit already. I don't want any part of that. There's going to be people there just sat in stupid... I don't even know what they're called. They're tanks, whatever they're, I don't know, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, we're going to go into Star Wars Battlefront 2 here, because I'm assuming more people are playing this game, I mean, if there's more than nine people, here we go, so we go into multiplayer, go into search, search any, this is every server possible, so I've got 41 on there, on Mustafar, so what, two, four, six, eight, ten, seventy players playing online in the whole of this game on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 is probably one of the most popular platforms this game is on, I would guess anyway, and the fact that there's 70 players playing this game. Well, I mean, I was told that it actually looks like the one on the original Clone Wars, which makes sense, but I mean, it is animated, so they weren't lying when they fixed that, so I mean, that is, that's good, I guess, but it still looks a little bit strange. I feel like I wouldn't mind just having a proper lightsaber that, yeah, he's probably not very good on this because of the lunge, isn't he? That's not very good. So, Aspire have actually released a brand new patch notes on their website for the console specifically. So it is very similar to what they did last week with the computer version. But now they say, Update 1 is available now for Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Series X, PlayStation 4 and 5. The multiplayer experience on dedicated servers has had ample changes behind the scenes and players should expect a much better experience across all consoles. If you keep watching this video and have a look at the game I played afterwards on Battlefront 2, you will notice that this does actually work. I would say that they have not lied with this one, finally. I feel like this one is actually better and you can finally play it. However, there are barely any people playing this game. Literally, as I said earlier, there is about 70 people playing PlayStation 5, which is awful. When you look at Steam charts, right now, as of recording this at 5.35 on the 1st of April, there are 185 people playing it on Steam, which is outrageously bad and that includes everyone playing it so even the offline modes that is people with the game open right now on steam so it's pretty bad and it's very very sad to see because i love this game i wish it was big i wish it was popular but aspire have just absolutely taken a duke on it but as you can see in the background asajj ventress has been nerfed she doesn't feel quite as good anymore which i think is a good thing because she was quite good but Sometimes with nerfs, they actually nerf them into the ground and make them unplayable. Is she unplayable? No. I think they've done a decent job on her because you can still get kills, but there are still ways that she can be defeated and this actually makes it quite a bit more playable. So I'm glad with that. I'm happy with that. Is it going to allow me in? Oh, it does. Okay, right. I lied. The game's fixed. Everyone loves it. Let's all be happy. This game is the epitome of what could have been. Because of how good this game was, I was so excited for the release, but they have just fully ruined it. Although I've not played this map on this new version. Where are the enemies? Oh, they're over here. 
Yeah, I've not played this map since the new release, so it'd be interesting. I've not even played the story mode. Oh, there's a guy there. Hello. I mean, that's a kill straight away. So I'm wondering, is the hit registration a little bit better? That's another kill for me, actually, I just realised. So the hit registration could potentially be better. I mean, it still feels very strange, but... That's not my kill. Something I can tell you they've definitely fixed as well is the directional noises. Because I can hear that in my right ear. And that is so much better. I don't know why people were moaning so much about why it's not a problem. It is. It's off-putting. It feels terrible. Oh dear, that's a tank. It's off-putting. Uh, the sniper's over there. But you know what? That felt pretty good. I feel like I'm actually hitting these shots. Although he's hitting me. I got him. Nice. Okay, well, this feels good. That actually does feel kind of good. Leave my grenade. Leave my grenade. Oh. I mean, come on. Did I seriously not get any of that? Oh, that's an enemy mine. <laughs> I mean, I, I, to be honest, this is decent, this feels good, but again, it's just too little too late. Everybody has already come off this game. It'd be interesting to actually have a look at some of the Steam reviews on this game. I might have a look at that after this game, because people might have put it up over the weekend, because I'm a couple of days late to this, but I don't know. I could still have a look. Oh, that's several boys over here. Several. Go on, that's got to get some. They've not fixed that issue, though. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. Okay, I actually won a gunfight. I'm dead now. I actually won a gunfight. Hey, we got him. Nice. Okay, that's my cue to leave. I'm going to go and check the Steam reviews, actually, now. So if we look at the Battlefront collection, I'm literally on the Steam store right here. So we can go to this point and then we can scroll down. Mostly negative. Okay, well, that's not changed a lot recently. So we can have a look at some of the things over the weekend to see if anyone's done it. So 26th of March is the most recent. Oh no, here we go. I like it. Servers are fixed and works great. I can recommend it. Not worth it. In its current state, I can't recommend. Too many game crashes has... Some pros, hero sat on all maps, but at the moment for the price, the cons outweigh the pros. Basically, that is what the game is in a nutshell. The game is fun. The game does look better than the originals, but keeping the same old school style vibe to it. But at the same time, with how the horrendous issues that they had in this game, that is why everybody hates this game now, because a spy have absolutely ruined their own game this game is really what could have been and it's so unfortunate if you did enjoy any of this video would like to see more content i think i'm going to be making some star wars battlefront 2 from ea content so if you want to see any of that stick around leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you very much and goodbye